Hey everybody, this is Jesus Christ in Western Channel Science Prime coming in once again. And today, something very, very special that all of you are aware of. We have reached over 100,000 subscribers! 100,000 subscribers! 100,000 subscribers! Hello, dudes. Pickle here. Oh my god, Johnny, Johnny. The pickle's not covering Bossman Jack today? That's right, fellas. It was about time I started covering up the lol cows, and what could be a better pick than the OG lol cow himself? Oh, I'm sorry, herself? They said <laughs> himself. I don't care. Chris Chan. I'm sorry, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Sonichu Prime Chan. And what a day to do it. On the day, Chris Chan got himself that coveted silver play button that he's been begging for for a while. He got a silver play button before I did. Well, it's over. It's over. Deleting the channel. Anyways, given Chris's atrocious editing, I bring forth to you today a more palatable video on his celebration of the silver play button. I figured I might as well celebrate myself, having hit the 3,000 subscriber milestone. Thank you guys. You make this possible. Love ya. All right, let's get on with the show. Yeah. <laughs> and so, check my email, and we got code, which I redeemed, and. Burp, 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 burp. In this box, which we have covered the receiving address because we want no doxing, is a lovely little button. So, look at the box, it's like a big old YouTube button. There is black, there is up, there is the bottom, there's one side, there's the other side. Uh, no obligatory bra shots in the back. <laughs> it's an unboxing video, so we're gonna unbox this video. Unbox this, so. One piece of tape there. One piece of tape there. And, uh... And the code is apparently only sent out to those who have reached that milestone. So, yes. <laughs> we got card. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with care by... Name on the card, but should not be disclosed because I do not like dancing anybody. But it was made by Society Awards. And their letter is included. Just, do you remember your first subscriber? Your 100th or your 1,000th? That <laughs> chances are you do. <laughs> and you know that you'll definitely remember your 100,000th subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, your audience stayed and their numbers increased because of you and the community you've built. We're proud to honor your impressive milestone of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations! We know you have many more stories to share with your community, and we know that your fans can't wait for you to amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can't wait to see what you'll do next, and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber, we just may write to you next, do you remember your 100,000th? Yours sincerely, the YouTube CEO. And there's the letter. Just pointed out the plastic sleeve. Da, 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 da. It's a button. No two buttons about it. <laughs> Can you see yourself? In this yourself. In this yourself. In this yourself. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, indeed. This shall be handled with care. So there you go. I was pretty happy with this silver play button. Now here come the schizo rambling. Now for those of you who might not know, Christian unironically believes that there are alternate universes and it's kind of a coping mechanism for the fact that he has absolutely no power. He's a complete loser in real life. So he has this made up universe where he's the master, he's the god of everything. So let's not take our meds and enjoy some schizo rambling. So yes, I'd like to dedicate this award by thanking all the number of the little people from the genuine and authentic just essentially all the good, the uh, neutrals, as well as the neutral good, neutral bad, and uh, well, pff, um, dishonorable mention to the toxic ones. But I'd like to offer a little bit of a reminiscent tour, if you will, a little bit of nostalgia since uh, we've reached such the milestone. <laughs> the things aren't all this started, like obviously for the day I was born and everything, <laughs> but obviously. I came to learn myself as I am, being the one avatar of all existence and everything. 
a lot of soul searching and digging deep within and connecting with everything to realize this. And of course, you remember classic book zero. <laughs> and of course, you're gonna thank the green screen for doing that detail to the grass in the bottom. Or this is being upgraded. It's still in progress to book zero HD. The big binder is right next to me. But of course, you know, this is what I'm supposed to be known for. <laughs> Small interruption there. This is what I'm more for. And part of what I am. Not just to be a YouTube creator or content, but because of the Sonic Shoes and Rose Shoes and the Sea of Quickville and all that. And the progression we're making so far and my inspiration to everyone. And uh, just counting the old classic with Zero. And uh, I'm making an honorable mention once again to the two fan fiction, to the two fan fictions, one of which is one of which is canon. And this one in an alternate timeline. But yeah, just uh, look at this stack of the books. You got your book zero, you got your one, two, three, four. Thick book. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Why is it doing that on yellow? Twelve. Twelve dash nine. And bonus. But yeah, nice star. G4 is getting on back on track. Everything is manifesting as I have foretold. You don't cancel G5. You're gonna put this entire timeline in chaos, so. Cancel Generation 5 now, Hasbro! Numerous times beforehand and now. And of course, we can't forget the Secret Ship Fic folder cards. Obviously, it's inspired by the MLP game, but who said it had to just be limited to the ponies? But we are looking away to get these mass printed inexpensively so we can add these all the individual cards and we'll do bonus promo cards at, at one point or another and whatnot but just that's still to be confirmed in the future later on and of course the toys the people figures personally made the old prototypes but if we can kind of wait to get the amiibo chips in the bases then that would definitely be much better but we're that's one detail we looked into we may be able to manifest that a little bit later on with the things that are in process and that we are planning. But anyway, so on that, so Sonic You discovered Sonic you Prime discovered within my premonitionary mind on March 17th, 2000. Though literally, as I have written and made obvious and canon, Sonic you was born on Sonic you Prime as a Pichu was born on April 20th, 1992. And Rosie Rose Shoe Prime Born as a Pichu on January 8th, 1992. So, age difference aside, yada yada yada. She's a little bit older than him. But anyway, so, April 20th. And not to be confused with that joke of 420 or whatever. So, just no, no, no. April 20th, that's when Sonic Prime was born. Anyway, so aside from that. All the progressions on the way. Because I did want to focus a lot on Sanchu and Roshi and all the special Sanchus and Roshus. And just I was so focused on the, <clears throat> the sweetheart search of mine once upon a time. No longer a thing. I'm doing much better now. But yeah, just then the progressions on the way with the sweetheart search. And yeah, I, felt that I did a bunch of videos on YouTube. And uh, some of which were obviously... Influenced by a certain few, but they will not be named. But their judgment is set, and so on and so forth. But anyway, so aside from that, I've grown and developed along the way, and definitely learned. And uh, here's the thing: internet security, and make sure you do not dot yourself, and don't dot anybody else. 
but honesty and authenticity between individuals still does remain good and just. So, if you're looking to actually become friends with somebody on the internet, seriously, don't fake, don't hate, just keep it all authentic and good. And as long as you can do that, and especially in loving yourself. Joy! Joy! Authentically and deeply and everything, and appreciating yourself and everything that has led you to get to this point, that shall be good for you as well. Even if you are among the lowest ranks or dredges, or even if you're a millionaire, but still not very happy because you're not feeling like your soul fully being fulfilled and all that. So you think about that. Middle of the road is, te is technically good because it's like you take the good with the bad and find your own way for the better. But of course, you got to remember your roots, where you came from, as you were in past lives, and so on and so forth. And which individuals you may actually be the reincarnation of at this point. But outside of that, enjoy life as you will and keep it all good. The Bible does remain a good guide, but we are meant to think outside the Bible eventually. So just remember that. Preach, praise, but still keep it good and light powered and positive. But of course, as there is a good point to be spoken, when one does tend to become famous or just to record a video and put it on the internet. It should not be done for attention. It should be done for projecting a valid, reasonable point or perspective. <coughs> or just a, even a random silly thought whatsoever. You're a mean one, Mr. Trump. Now go die. And die again. But as long as you do it for the good, and yeah, quoting from Rainbow, from the question girls rainbow rocks the music inside you what is resonant and true from within your heart your soul and everything inside about you that just emits brilliantly but obviously if you're made darkness then you know you are in the wrong but if you emit light power and good then you know it is good and it's like i have a crowd that cheers my name but it's like i don't need that i didn't really come online seeing ink seeking infamy or fame and yet it has happened to me from time to time but what I bring is truth and authenticity the best of my abilities even though in the past I have made mistakes in regards to the theoretical etos I had those that were online that faked me and hated me and all that but of course as you know which that which has been proven good and which is true in fact so y'all remember that keep it true keep it good and light powered just know you are in the right when it is good to you. Especially the good habits and everything. And of course, just treat yourself good. Go on, keep yourself on a healthy route as best you are able to. And drink lots of water. Caffeine is good in reasonable amounts, of course. But you don't want to go too much. Just mentioning that. But observe your body. Let your body, when your body feels bad, take it easy. Because you love yourself. You love your body. You love as an individual. And when you love and express yourself as an individual and everything that is good, then you attract those who appreciate you and love you for themselves. Especially those that have found soul search deeply. And I encourage you to soul search and look deep into yourself as well. What you were, what you are, what you are meant to do. You may actually have prophetic visions in your dreams. A lot of us do have a little bit of psychic power. And a very few of us have the heavy psychic power and everything that is good. Anyway, the big play button. We have made it to this achievement and I thank everybody that has helped me get to this point. I shall continue in good stride instead with my works and everything and the updates that come in from time to time. Thank you all very much. Have a great, safe, blessed day. Joy! 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 Mm-hmm.